Okay, so ra raise your hand in the in the down below area if you like coffee. Mm. Hello again, I am Blunty, and I normally don't do food and beverage style videos. I've done them from time to time, something I'm excited about, or sometimes for a bit of a joke, like with my Japanese curry one. Some people didn't didn't really appreciate that joke, but I thought it was funny. But I do want to share with you a, a kitchen gadget, if you will, today, because I just bought a second one, uh, because that's how much I enjoyed it. But first, let's preface this with a little bit of lead up to sort of frame it in the, in the correct context. If you're just interested in the kitchen gadget, you can skip to that time frame right there. I've only just recently, well, relatively recently, about a year ago, in fact, pretty much exactly a year ago, come to think of it, uh, discovered a love for coffee. Most of my life, couldn't stand it. Didn't even like the smell of it. It was acrid and uh, didn't like it. And But every now and again, I would try coffee again because our tastes change as we grow. Sometimes you'll like something you didn't like as a kid. Sometimes you'll not like something anymore that you used to love as a kid, you know. Taste buds change over time. It's just a little biological fun fact. So every now and again, I would try coffee again because it is a very popular drink. It's very easy to get everywhere. Um, and it would be a, a much simpler way to get caffeine into my system than, than you know, energy drinks. <clears throat> Chances are pretty good. It's a damn sight better for me than chugging energy drinks as well. But since finally developing a taste for coffee, I've been trying all kinds of coffee and brewing various kinds of coffee here at home as well. My usual preference these days is for cold brewed, especially as we all slowly boil to death on this ever increasingly warm planet of ours. Whoops. I've got a few different pour over type systems, but generally when I make it hot, at least, uh, I go for the French press. Simple, easy, reliable, very, very consistent. But then I finally tried cold brew coffee as part of my exploration of the coffee spectrum. And I was like, that's freaking delicious. I need to make that at home. So I started making it at home. At first in a big jug, basically, you put in the coffee grounds, you pour in the water and you just let it sit in the fridge. And then you filter out the coffee through, you know, coffee filters. And that was, it worked well enough. It wasn't particularly consistent and it was very labor intensive and very slow to filter out all the coffee grounds when they're all mixed in. So then I bought a cold brew coffee jug thing, which has a little basket, you sink into the water and you leave it in the fridge. And that worked pretty damn well. It was much more consistent, but I did have quite a problem with silt. Uh, because the mesh in the little basket thing it used to hold the coffee grounds just wasn't quite fine enough. So there was a fair amount of silt in the coffee, which was, you know, you could deal with it. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but you could work around it. And a couple of times I forgot to take out the basket full of coffee grounds when I went to pour uh, a fresh batch and all the coffee grounds would spill in to the actual liquid and, and I would it was just it was just ruin it. So then I tried a different kind of cold brew coffee bottle maker thingy-mabob doodler from Amazon. And this thing is great. So I thought I'd share it with you. I just bought a second one. So I'm, I'm filming all the stuff I'm about to show you with the second fresh one I just got ordered in because I wanted two batches. But this one is fantastic because not only do I get very little silt, only the very finest layer of silt and it settles down to the bottom of the jug anyway, so you never actually pour any into your drink, but it makes an incredibly consistent and incredibly delicious uh, cold brew coffee. It's very, very easy to use. Uh, and it's just brilliant, which is why I bought a second one. So let me show it to you. It is branded the Hario Cold Brew Coffee Bottle. The concept is simple. It's much like many other cold brew coffee bottles, but it's the execution here in particular that makes me love it. A simple glass bottle with a silicon top and stopper into which locks with a simple to use bayonet style system, the filter cage, which has a very fine mesh and is designed to completely contain your coffee grounds using a secondary locking lid. The literal bottleneck being a silicon thing you can completely remove also means this thing is very, very easy to clean, which I appreciate. Brewing is dead easy. The instructions recommend 55 grams of dark roast coffee, ground medium fine. I use the same grind size as I do for my French press process, and it's been working great. You could also try medium or light roast too, but because of the long, slow extraction that is the hallmark of cold brew coffee, dark roast is considered the best choice as its deep, subtle, robust and chocolatey flavor lends itself best to the sweeter, less acidic and complex flavors of cold brew coffee. So basically, you grind up your beans as usual, you pop them into the hanging basket, lock that into the lid, and then pop the lid on the bottle. But this system also means you can pour from this bottle without any fiddliness. You don't have to remove the grounds or anything. You just pour straight out. No worries. Which secondarily makes it nice and easy to taste test as you brew. So you can find the brew time which works best for you. But you pop the cage into the lid, pop the lid onto the bottle, and pour in enough cold water to reach the top of the mesh. You give it a swirl to help saturate the grounds and pop it into the fridge overnight. Now brew time depends on how strong and deep you like it. Giggity giggity goo. <laughs> 
<laughs> instructions. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Instructions say eight hours, but I have found eight hours results a bit of a weak brew. Not enough time for some of the depth to develop properly. But 18 to 24 hours hits the mark for me. And after that, well, if you need guidance on pouring coffee into a serving cup and then consuming it, I'd rather you'd not be in the kitchen where the knives are. Thank you very much. Perhaps you should get someone to help you make your coffee. And there it is. Some of the most deliciously consistent uh, cold brew coffee I've managed to make over in the last sort of six months or so since I've been fiddling with the concept of making my own cold brew. Um, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the word for this, this bottle thing. It's a consistent. Every single time, it's been fantastic. I've never made a bad batch. It is just wonderful. The silt isn't a problem. I've tried different brewing times anywhere from 12 to sort of 24 hours, and it's just been, you know, you get various different kinds of flavor profiles the longer you leave it before you start to drink it. And uh, in each and every instance, it's been delicious in very different ways. I normally drink mine with a bit of a splash of milk in it, but for the purpose of today's video, so you can sort of, well, I was going to say get an idea for the color, but the way I've got my lighting going at the moment really doesn't help you much, does it? The B-roll should have showed you anyway. Oh, but it is delicately delicious. Uh, another benefit of cold brew, um, and I've been drinking mine straight, but do it's normally a fair bit stronger than regular coffee, so you sometimes could have got a half cold brew out of the bottle and then half ice cold water or slushy milk and things, things like that to sort of weaken it down. But if you drink it at full strength, it gives you a hell of a kick. Not like, ah, but sort of mm, a little rev to the engine. That's why I like it. That's why I make two matches every weekend when I go streaming on Twitch. Keeps me going. Mm. So give it a go. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. We'll catch you next time. Don't know when I'll do the next cooking slash kitchen gadget type video. They, they come up sporadically. But I love cooking, so you never know. Let me know how much you liked it. Put it down below. <laughs>